Yo, what is good one? It's you here and welcome back. So I know most of you guys are into gaming and I've seen that a lot of you guys have a gaming channel and you probably want to grow it. So the way to do that is to have a good thumbnails. That's why I'm teaching you guys today how to make a good gaming thumbnail. So without being sad, let's get started. Okay, first thing first, you need to download this app, which is Photoshop Touch. I know most of you guys have it, but if you don't, the link will be down in the description below. You can download it for free, of course. Okay, first thing to do is to go ahead and change the resolution of your project. So make sure it says 1920 by 1080 right over here. If it doesn't say that, be sure to go ahead and change it because that's necessary. And as you can see right over here, I imported three uh, backgrounds and I'm going to mix them together. If you are asking yourself how, basically I'm going to select the two first backgrounds and change the blending options right over here the blending mode to overlay and it should have a better result as you can see this is a really cool looking background okay so the second thing to do is to go ahead and import the character from the game that you are playing on the youtube video in this case i imported the character from fortnite since the game is popping why not throwing a character right here and how to get characters if you are asking yourself basically you want to go to google images and just google the game that you are playing and then put character png and you should find so many characters from the game that you searched for and they are ready to go because png means that they have no background so just you know import them and you are ready to go. All right, but now we have the problem. Our character doesn't look too good. It's kind of camouflaged and we can't really see that well, which is a problem. So we need to blend it with our thumbnail and make the character pop. How to do that? Basically go ahead and select the layer and duplicate it and then select the bottom layer, which is this one right over here. Once you've done that, go ahead and press on this end button and go ahead and hit on fill and stroke. Be sure that the type is stroke, not fill. So change it if it says a fill. And as you can see, you can change the amount of stroke using this slider right here. You can slide it up for more stroke and slide it down for less stroke. I don't wanna have a really thick stroke, so I'm going to put it around maybe 40. Um, yeah, that actually looks perfect. And the next step is to go ahead and merge the two layers together so we will have one layer that contains the stroke and the character at the same time just like so. And for more advanced look let's go ahead and duplicate this layer and then select the bottom layer right here of the character and then let's go ahead and go to the blending mode and change the blending mode from normal to something else let's try difference and now let's go ahead and change the possession of this um layer so let's go ahead and make it bigger and let's see how this turned out you know what actually not too bad the character looks more attractive to the eye so the people when they are scrolling on the home page if they see your thumbnail they will actually be impressed which is gonna drive them to click on the video so for the next step you want to have a good text on your thumbnail so i wrote epic when using a font called the luckiest guy link is in description below i used pixel lab to get this text and you can find the link in description below how to use pixel lab too and basically you want to have your text as big as possible on the screen so it's going to be more clear for the viewers of the thumbnail to read and you want to also have something attractive and you know something that drives the people to click on the thumbnail for example you want to have like far snipe or amazing kills kill streak something that drives the people to click on the video if that makes sense and just like we did with the character we're going to be doing the exact same thing for the text to make the text more uh, attractive to the eye so basically we're going to be adding a stroke just like we did with the character of course but the stroke can't be white because the text is already white so i'm going to make it maybe black just like this this actually makes it uh, look more clear to read and now i'm pretty much recreating the blending mode effect that i showed you with the character and all you have to do is to change the blending mode and transform your layer and make it bigger and this actually should look pretty all right all right, so this is one way how to create your thumbnails, your gaming thumbnails on Android phone. So my inspiration was the top gamers out there. They use the ex exact same method to create their thumbnails. And if you have a gaming channel right now, 
feel free to use this method I showed you today. People used it for so long and they got so far with it. So you're definitely gonna go and you know, you can do the exact same thing if you do it right. So feel free to use this method, this method that I showed you guys today. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button down below. Please don't forget that. Leave a sweet comments down below on your way. Subscribe if you didn't join me already. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.